Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a new mission using the application Map Pilot from Maps Made Easy. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm going to go ahead and tap create new mission. Alrighty, once you open up the application, you will get a disclaimer. If this is your first time opening up, I highly recommend you read it. But since I've already read it before, I'm going to hit OK. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. This blue dot right here, it's indicating my current location. So let's go ahead and start planning our mission and figuring out what area we will be mapping. So I've already chosen my area, which is this park right here. So to go ahead and start this, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the screen and hold down my finger. Notice right away a waypoint appeared. So this is one waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and make another waypoint over here and over here. So once this happens, a waypoint will appear from your shortest to your longest um, waypoint. So you can grab that and expand it. And let's say, for example, you don't like the shape of your area, that's totally fine. You can move your waypoints around, expand it, condense it, whatever you want. So I'm going to move this over here. Zoom out a bit. Awesome. So that's the area I will be mapping. Now let's head over to the far left side. I'm going to go ahead and tap on this polygon right here. But first, we got to give this map an approximation of our home point. I'm going to double tap on the screen really fast and a purple dot will appear. Before I go further in depth, I just want to kind of do a little quick um, overview on the left side. So it's saying it's going to take 36 images, but that will change once I click on this magnifying glass and change the altitude. So right now I'm saying I'm going to be flying at 180 feet. Depending on what you will be flying, you can hit the plus to go higher or the minus sign to fly lower. It's saying that it's going to take less images. That's simply because the higher you fly, the less images you take. The lower you fly, the more images you take. So I'm going to want to capture like point nine inches per pixel so i'm going to be flying at 180 feet you do what you approximately think is the best altitude to fly and i'm going to tap this right here as well this map thing and this will come up so where the ruler is and it says ac and mi acres miles um, that's what I have it set to. If you tap on that, notice how it changed. Just leave it to acres and miles. Now, I also want to give you a point um, on your flight path. If you don't like your flight path or you just want to move it, you can do that simply by putting your two fingers on the screen and rotating them. So I'm rotating it. And notice how there's a green dot and then there's a red dot. So the green dot is indicating where the drone is going to be starting its flight path and then the red dot is indicating where it's going to end. So I want the drone to start its flight path at the farthest peak and I want it to end nearest to me. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate there. That's pretty good. And I am kind of doing my flight path horizontally. So that is good. And yeah, let's not forget to save this mission. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that and I'm gonna hit save. Base catch, flight path offline. So, yep, yay, it's saved. And to access your saved mission, I'm gonna hit where it says not connected, that arrow up there. And yes, I wanna go back to the main menu. Uh, under mission management, when you get to the location you wanna be flying, um, it's the last one, the day I created it. Tap on that and there it is. But thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and have a nice day.